Hi everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at the Visconti Double Reservoir Power Filler, how to fill it. Uh, if you have, uh, right here I've got the Homo Sapiens Crystal Dream, and of course you can recognize the Double Reservoir Power Filler by the fact that we have an ink window here, and then we've got the main chamber. So most of your Viscontis that have an ink window will be the Double Reservoir Power Fillers. The standard Homo Sapiens is only a single reservoir, this is a double reservoir. So, filling this pen. Now there's two ways to do it. The first way, if you do have the Visconti ink pot, this is probably the most efficient and the best way to fill it. We take the top off, and you will notice here, this is where you fill the, uh, the ink pot up to this line. It says uh, ink level, do not overfill. If you overfill it, it's gonna cause a mess it's gonna start coming out the back. So if you're gonna fill up the, the ink pot, I'm gonna unscrew this, and then this just simply fits into the ink pot like so. And then you would tip it upside down, and then you would operate the mechanism, and it will gravity will force the ink down into the pen. So if you have this, you can use this, it's very simple. I usually recommend you try it with water first so you get the hang of it before you start putting ink in there. If you don't, no big deal. I have a uh, glass of uh, semi-inky water here and I'm gonna pull this out. And this fills on the downstroke, so very much like the VAX 700R or the Pilot Custom 823, it fills on the downstroke. You wanna put the nib into your bottle of ink up to and including part of the section. It needs to be completely submerged. So I'm gonna put it in there and then in one swift motion, I'm gonna push down. Now you will notice that it fills about halfway. If you turn it upside down, just like on the A23 and the 700R, if you very carefully extend out the piston rod and push up just a little bit until you start seeing ink come into the second reservoir. As you start to see it come in now, I can turn it around, put it back in, and then it fills up completely full and you screw it all the way down. So that would be the two-step process to get it full. If you don't necessarily need to get it that full, halfway is actually quite a bit of quite a bit of ink on this pen. Now I want to show you a little bit about the double reservoir. So I'm going to fill it halfway here. And if I tighten it down, tightening down the knob here cuts off flow of ink from the main barrel to the front reservoir. So you'll have quite a bit of ink here that you can use to write with. When this part here runs dry, all you simply have to do is hold it, nib down. And in this case, since this is full, this, this level won't, won't go down, but you're just gonna unscrew your knob and then it will be enough to release a little bit of ink into the front reservoir You'll see this level go down a little bit and then you can just screw it back down and you've now refilled the front portion of your pen. And that's really all there is to it. Cleaning, very efficient. Just pull it out and you'll notice there's a, quite a bit of uh, pressure there. It took quite a bit to pull it back. But you can just do this a couple of times in uh, clear water and it will flush clean very well. If you have the ink pot, even more so, fill it with uh, regular uh, clear water and uh, that'll help even more because it'll get it completely full. And that's how you work a Viscati Double Reservoir Power Filler.